You crazy dog. <laughs> Hi everybody. Welcome to Crooked Peach. My name is Meredith. If you haven't been here before. Um, so today, oh wait, let me tell you, wait first. Okay, we're in southeastern Virginia. Um, right on the line of Grozone 7B8A. And that's a new thing. It was always 7B, now it's 8A. Okay, so that's where we're at. Um, okay, so I have this uh, terribly neglected, overgrown bed of strawberries. Look at this crap. And I mean, I did it. But, so, what happened was, last year, we were able to get a lot of wood chips delivered. And, um, it's been up pretty high. It's gone down some and we've used a lot. But you see how the strawberries have just run amok. Right? So, I have all of these free strawberry plants. And... They have to get relocated. Now, I have done that to a couple of them already. But what I'm going to be doing is along the front of this berry patch where we have our blackberries and raspberries, I'm going to add more strawberries, which I had, like I said, I have put some in here. But this thing is a mess. Even though the chickens did a great job of weeding it, the goosegrass, which if you've never heard of goosegrass, oh, I cannot stand it. It's like a super strong crabgrass. It's, um, the grass itself is like wire, and it pokes through everything. It's just ridiculous. Um, and it grows underground, so it is annoying. Anyway, so i got to get this prepared for strawberries, and then we're going to dig up some of those runner plants and plant them in here. All right, let me get my butt to work now. Look at these tiny little baby romaine lettuces that are regrowing. And this is just from the ends that um, I set in this water. I've done this before. The geese and the chickens love to eat romaine. And that's a cheap and easy, basically free way to regrow it. Doesn't take any special skill or anything. Hey everybody, how are you? Look at these little seedlings. Um, if you can see them, let me see. Let me see. Look at the little babies. Mm -mm. No, you probably can't see it still. So, hold on. Let me see about this here. Oh, yeah. So, you can see them here. Uh, so, this tray is all the cherry tomatoes and then this tray is uh you know all the full size lots and lots of heirlooms there's genovese and amanda oranges that i'm so excited about are yeah they're doing good there's little more little baby seedlings that should be popped up by the end of today that is so amazing that is really amazing because this afternoon will be five full days since I planted all of these. And so, wow, I'm excited. So excited. And I have a lot of work to do. Right. Putting the old raspberry canes off. So that, so that I don't have to run into these things and they're not even going to give me anything. Oh, no, that one's bloody. That's not old. All oh, these are. barrels all around and he likes the water that comes from the rain barrel usually even better than from the faucet in the house and I mean we're on this we're on well water but anyway that's what he wants and I let him do it because it seems like he might know better than me
All right. So I just pulled up a little young little raspberry bush. That I'm going to transplant somewhere, but see this crap right here? This is that. Mm -mm -mm. This is that goose grass. I mean, this stuff is insane. I hate it so much. Nothing I can do except fight it one little thing at a time. And then look, hold the mackerel. Look, this little raspberry bush is already uh, throwing off another bush. <laughs> so, wow, they grow really well around here. So I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put it. Oops. It's gonna have to wait a minute. Every little piece of this that you don't get out will regenerate a whole new evil plant. Can't stand it, but I'll take this. Raspberry baby seedlings everywhere, so I'm just gonna have to dig them all up if they're along this line. More of that crap, I swear. Oh, this is so annoying. Okay, so this is one of the things that I've noticed that goosegrass will do. It will grow through rooting, or through the root balls or whatever, of things that you want. So, tangled all around this thing. <sighs> Look, this is the goosegrass. I cannot stand this crap. And right here is a little baby raspberry plant, which I need to sit in some damp soil quickly. Do that right away. All right, this is crazy, but this is how prolific these raspberries grow. All right, so let's see, can you see that? You see this? This is on a bit of the raspberry root. And, oh, and look, now it's separated. Good. So now this is a whole new raspberry plant. If you want it. Which I do. I want more and more. More raspberries. I love them. And frankly, I don't know if I've ever made a dessert that I liked better than just picking the fresh blackberries and raspberries and blueberries and whipping up some heavy cream into whipped cream. Perfect. Okay, so I got this tiny little bucket full. I'm gonna show you what what I do with a whole lot of the weeds and trimmings and all of that. My apologies, the battery died. Okay, so this is what I'm doing with my trimmings and a whole bunch of other stuff so let me show you in here this is really gross like it's incredibly gross and right now it doesn't smell terrible strong because it's been so cold but it won't stay cold <laughs> all right so it is my belief anyway that sitting all that stuff in here in this water and letting it age, I stir it up um, 
it was covered over the winter while it was really cold but outside of that it stays open and it in my opinion it extracts all of the little nutrients and stuff that those things required to grow and so again it's my belief that if i use that water in the garden then that is fertilizing my plants and i'm pretty sure i'm right so far it's been it's been good okay i gotta go dig these strawberries up so like i was saying the runners they have look they're not attached at all to the um, original strawberry plants but they have rooted their little selves in here in these wood chips so it's not typically a lot I mean terribly deep look at these stupid this this goose grass I like oh I don't know what else to say other than <laughs> I don't think I'll ever ever actually finish fighting this stuff. Look at this crap. This is uh, so annoying. Alright. All right, I gotta come back and get that. Anyway. Oh lord, sorry. I really want to just get my plant. Alright. So now I'm going to use a little hand trowel for this. Oh. See if I get my fingers underneath the here. That's a lot of wood chips, though. <laughs> All right, I can feel the roots. This probably looks crazy, but I can feel the roots. And let me sit this down and get this out. Let's see. Hopefully, y'all can see this, but I honestly don't have a clue. I can't see the screen. It's just too bright out here. That goose grass being under it just makes it more difficult. But it also, in all fairness, it also played a big role in having something substantial for this little strawberry plant to anchor onto. <sighs> Blessings and curses, y'all. Blessings and curses. Oh, that stuff's horrible. It's just wiry. So if you don't know better, you might plant that with your strawberry. I don't want that my strawberry. This, look at that. And look at the root system on this strawberry crown. So this is easy to do. And frankly, it says a lot for the lazy side of gardening. Like, some good can come of it. I don't plan to be a lazy gardener forever. I'm learning. But it's a process. It's absolutely a process. All right. Let me get some more of these. Just in case there's anybody out there who hasn't done this. And I have done it really wrong. And I was like, what happened? Alright, so the crown. The crown is this portion right here. And if you put that below soil, uh, the top of the soil, it will just rot. It won't grow. Oh, sometimes it will grow more runners. But it is not going to give you any strawberries. Oh, oh yeah, it's also said that strawberries don't like to keep their feet wet, so mounding them up a little bit, um, from what I understand, is one of the best, 
the best thing to do for them. So I'm trying. Hey guys, battery died again. Okay, so I had to come inside so I, I can get myself some water. But also, I mean, it's just going to be a lot more of the same today. So I'm going to end this here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Um, thank you for your comments. Thank you for all your support. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate that. Have a lovely, beautiful, blessed day.